In this video, we will implement the commenting system. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder and remember that the commenting form will be included at the end of the news.cfm page. So let's open news.cfm and let's browse it in the browser. Remember that this page has different states and by default, it shows a list of all the news present in the database. But if I click on one of those read more links, then there is another state that shows one single news and this is here at the end of that single news that I want to display the commenting system. So let's return to Coefficient Builder and we will try to locate the correct spot. So I have here a comment, output a single news and below the comment I have a CF output block that actually outputs that single news. So just below that CF output, this is where I want to add the commenting system, include the commenting system. And the commenting system itself is in the includes folder in that comment form.cfm file. So just below that new comment, I will use a CF include tag to include from the includes folder the comment form.cfm. All right, now let's take a look at comment form.cfm. This file has already been developed for you. So I suggest you take some time to pause the video and review that code for a few seconds. There is nothing in this code that has not yet been covered in the course, so it should be pretty simple for you to understand. Okay, now that you had a few seconds to review the code, let's add two little things to that page. So here on line 16, just below the generate security code comment, I need a new CF set tag to create a new variable that I will call security code and I will make it equal to application.utils dot generate capture and I will not pass any parameter because I want a security code of five random characters. All right, so this is one thing. Now let's scroll down to the commenting form and we have here another comment on line 61, display the captcha image here. So on the next line, I will use the CF image tag of Cold Fusion. The CF image tag is very powerful. It is used to manipulate images. You can do things such as resizing images without distorting them. You can modify the image type from JPEG to PNG, for example. You can change the JPEG quality of an image and many, many, many more operations. In my case, I will use the action attribute of CF image to determine that I want to create a CAPTCHA image. Now take a look at the list of possible actions. It will give you an idea of what CF image can do. In my case, I will generate here a CAPTCHA image. Of course, I need to supply the text of the CAPTCHA. And the text of the CAPTCHA is going to be some dynamic data. So I need those double pound signs. And I will make that equal to the security code variable that I have defined a few seconds ago like that. Now I will add a few more parameters to my CF image. I will specify a height of 50 pixels for that image, a width of 250 pixels for that image, a difficulty of medium, see that you can have a low, high or medium difficulty for the capture. Let's make that medium and I will specify the fonts that I can use to generate the capture image and I will use the font Verdana, notice that you can provide a list of fonts that ColdFusion can use to generate the CAPTCHA image. Now let's save the comment form.cfm, let's return to news.cfm and let's browse that page. If I click on one of those read more link, you see that a single news is displayed and the form is added with here the CAPTCHA image. If you refresh the page, you see that the CAPTCHA image is always different because a new random string of characters is used for that image. Another thing that you can do in the comments form.cfm is that you can pass a parameter 
to the generate captcha function for example i pass the parameter 7 and that will create a random string of seven characters let's check it out in the news.cfm i run that in the browser read a news and i now have a captcha of seven characters like that but this is not what i want i want five characters so in comments form.cfm i can leave that empty because five is the default value of that argument. So we now have a way to generate capture image and to add some more security to our commenting system.